What's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Michael Baxi. If this is your first time to my channel, smash that subscribe button if you're into anything automobiles, especially tuner cars. This is the channel for you. We are back down here at Fremont, California, pristine parts with a small little update to my vehicle. Let's check it out. All right, so before we get into the nitty gritty, I got a small interior update. Well, a nice interior mod update for you guys. I know some of you have asked about it. You saw it in my, some, some of my other videos. Never really mentioned anything about it, but let's go have a look. All right, so I tried to get it snuck past you guys and I couldn't do it. You saw it in my other video, so here it is. I'm gonna talk about it now. Check it out. Look at my steering wheel. All right, so this is a Buddy Club steering wheel, which is really cool because it's got, you know, the, the really, really flat bottom. The grips are thicker. It feels great in the hands, but what's different about this one, and to my knowledge, it hasn't been done on another Buddy Club steering wheel for a Civic Type R before this one but I sent it down to Suede It in Southern California. I'll put a link to his Instagram in the video below or in the description below. And I had it wrapped in Alcantara uh, to match interior. So check it out, look. The red stitching, the Alcantara, even the, the red line at the top, uh, which is very racy. You know, it started off as the thing I wanted to do because I knew I was going to be tracking this car and Alcantara feels better on the hands. It's a little grippier. But then I got a little carried away. I decided if I'm going to do that, I know Suede does excellent work on other parts of the Civic Type R. So I got the Suede hood as well. So they start off with an OEM plastic hood that goes right over the gauges and then they wrap it to your specifications with Alcantara. I did it simple, I didn't want a crazy amount of red. Some people go with the red on the under, underside of the hood. I just went straight with black. Uh, probably can't tell from that shot there, but uh, great fitment. Uh, everything clips in, it's an OEM piece, so that's to be expected. I also got the winglets on the side of my shifter done as well. Those are also plastic from the factory, but uh, I got those wrapped in the Alcantara as well. Really enjoy it. It really dresses up the interior nicely. Really elevates it and, and, and kind of makes it feel even a little more special than it already is. All right, let's go check out what else I got here today. All right, so this is part of the perils of tracking your car. You run through brakes quicker than not. But we're gonna go ahead and upgrade them today. So these are the upgraded slotted gyro disc front brake kit for the Civic Type R. It's not really a brake kit, it's just a rotors. Okay, and then we got the Winmax W5 front brake pads that are going in as well. That matches up really well with this. It's what a lot of the people in my crew are running. Uh, the guys that track their cars regularly. Uh, the gyro discs are gonna hold up a lot better with the Winmax pads uh, than the stock discs and pads. Stock discs and pads are gonna be good for a maximum of two track days, guys. If you're pushing your car that hard, you just gotta expect that you're gonna go through it, you know, and changing your uh, brake fluid at the same time. Uh, which I'm going to be doing. I'll show you what that is, what I'm using here. So for brake fluid, we're going to be going with uh, Castrol SRF Racing uh, brake fluid. Um, it's, it's a good practice to upgrade your stuff if you're going to be tracking your car on a more regular basis. With this setup here, I should be good for you know, probably closer to 15 to 20 track days is what some of my other buddies are uh, getting out of their gyro discs. And then the pads should be good for probably, um, 
you know, probably close to seven or eight track days. So definitely more robust. It's gonna offer even better stopping power than what uh, the Civic Type R already has, which is pretty crazy. But looking forward to see what that feels like once it's in the car. We're gonna go see Dr. Drew and he's gonna throw that in for us. All right, we'll see you guys there. Let's see what these new brakes look like. Oh, wow. Those look amazing. Yeah, this video shot here is mainly for my own education, but I gotta learn how to do this, guys. Apparently it's really simple, but you know, you just gotta be brave enough to try it out. Looking good though. I never really showed you guys Dr. Drew's car. So the thing about the people I hang out with, they're all various skill levels in different professions, but Dr. Drew here is a mechanic, obviously, since I keep going to him. But he's got a pretty sweet ride here. He's got a pretty similar setup to what I got. Actually, some of my, some of my inspiration is from him and of course Miguel. But uh, he's on the same Swift Springs. He's got the T37 uh, Volk wheels. Same thing I got. Uh, he's got the vented driver's side uh, fog cover, fog light cover, which uh, I just recently added to my car. It's got the EVS OEM style front grill, which um, you know allows for better cooling. I got the eBay grill coming up, you know, just as a placeholder. But uh, I may mess around with my stock grill piece and see if I can't do that myself. You know, just to mess around with it. And lo and behold, he's got the uh, suede it hood cover for the um, for the gauges as well. So you know, we all draw inspiration from each other. We all learn from each other. We get uh, we get ideas from each other. I love this rear wing. I would love to get this centerpiece here. God, what a beautiful piece! All carbon fiber. So there's always something you can do. Beautiful car, and uh, you know he's got like I mentioned earlier. He's got the same brake setup in the front. He's got the gyro discs with the uh, Winmax five pads. It's a good setup, you know, it's, it's been tried and trued on a, more than a few tracks. Works really well on this car and for daily use, so what can I say? Nice car. All right, back home after the brake install. Peeping those gyro discs in there, looking good. I wanna take a look at the stock rotors and pads and see what kind of condition they're in because this will give us an indication of what your car goes through after a track day. So these are the rear pads and I mean those are those are pretty much worn down to nothing. You know, the, you know, and I, I hear this from my guys and my group all the time, but the rear pads, they just disintegrate on this car. I mean, it, it performs really well. I mean, it does its job. Don't get me wrong, but uh, they do, they do wear out pretty quick. Um, here's the front pads. All right. So there are the front pads. They look, you know, a little better. You know, there's a little bit of life left on this. I could probably use these for street purposes for a little while longer, but you know, I've got another track day coming up. I just, you know, I don't have million days of extra time on my hands so I just went ahead and switch it over to the Winmax now but 
Those are still usable. I certainly wouldn't use it for another track day. But this is, you know, this kind of just gives you an idea of what cars go through. I'm only going to look at one of these because it should be pretty representative of the other side as well. But these are the stock rotors here. These suckers are heavy. You know, and stuff that you look for is like marring in the metal. You know, any any uneven surfaces. And again, it, it looks pretty good. Like you, you might be able to get away with one more track day out of uh, these discs, but the pads, the stock pads, I definitely wouldn't have put it through another track day. I mean, it's just precaution, right? You could run it, see what happens. Um, you know, and bring an extra set with you. If you want to err on the side of caution, I mean, really the stock setup, you're good for about two hard track days and probably 5,000 miles of street driving. But I just wanted to get it done. Uh, gyro disc will be good for probably about 20 track days. Those uh, brake pads will be good for, you know, four or five track days. And uh, the rear pads will probably last, you know, two, maybe three track days. So it's uh, part of the cost of racing. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, I love what I'm sharing with you guys. It's an experience for me as well. I just want to show you my journey so we can all learn together. But uh, thank you so much for the support. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. Let's keep it going so I can start doing more cool stuff for you guys. I got some really, really interesting finds coming up in the next few videos that I've been working on for several weeks. So stay patient with me, but uh, you might have seen some Easter eggs in a couple of my other videos. Information's coming, that's all I can say. So anyways, thanks again. As always, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi and I'm out. So